Hi everyone. I'm going to read you out of Revelation chapter 3, verse 10 through 13. Because you have obeyed my command to preserve, I will protect you from the great time of testing that will come upon the world to test those who belong to this world. I am coming soon. Hold on to what you have so that no one will take your crown. All who are victorious will become pillars in the temple of my God, and they will never have to leave it. And I will write on them the name of my God, and they will be citizens in the city of my God, the new Jerusalem, that comes down from heaven from my God. And I will also write on them my new name. Anyone with ears to hear must listen to this spirit and understand what he is saying to the church. I've attached two videos and I pray that everyone will pray over the messages and I will see you soon in the air. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hey brothers and sisters, today is September 2nd, 2018. This is Elizabeth Marie from Latter Rain 333. And I come to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And this video is for His glory alone. I want to bring you a word and a message. The word I received last week during the dream I had about persecution, about people being hung. And that video is called, It is at Your Doorstep. And you can watch that if you haven't already. Now, I thought it was a really strange word to get during this dream, and when I woke up, the Lord gave it to me a second time. So I want to share that with you. Also, I want to say that I am very excited about my new subscribers. They are growing daily, and if you like this video, please go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I do have a dream forum that the Lord led me to start and these these two links are down below is a dream forum where you can post your dreams these are not my dreams these are dreams of my subscribers and they're highly prophetic the Lord is giving dreams words and visions to so many people now and it's important that we share them as the body of Christ so we can get a bigger picture of what the Lord is doing also, he had me start a few weeks ago a prayer request forum, and this is a platform for the body of Christ to come together so we can uplift each other in prayer right now. So please go visit that and post any prayer requests that you may have. And I hope that this prayer request forum will start growing and we can start getting to know one another a little bit more through that uh, forum. Also, if you are interested in any way in helping this ministry out, please donate. Every little bit is greatly appreciated. I continue right now to be working on the upcoming safe havens. I got further instructions yesterday from the Lord on how to move forward, and I'm very excited about it. I will share with you more, hopefully next week, what I'm going to be putting together. And if you or if you know of anyone who has been told from the Lord to start a safe haven, would you please let me know so I can get the word out? I have a link down below. It's called the Safe Haven Network. Please contact me through that link. All right, so let me go ahead and share with you the word that I received while having the persecution dream. It is, they are totally opposite, and that's why I didn't bring it to you when I did that video because I didn't quite understand what the Lord was saying but I think I understand a little bit more. I received a, a number. I received 522 two. and when I looked it up in the Strong's as the Lord encouraged me to do so I found out that it meant to lift off, to carry away, to be taken away and then when I looked at the root words it continued. Now we all know that this is in reference to the rapture, to be taken away, to be lifted off. And I didn't understand why I got that um, during this persecution dream, but I believe what the Lord was trying to show me 
was that during great persecution, he is going to be possibly coming during a time of persecution. That's, that's my interpretation. That is not a thus says the Lord at all, but that's what I'm thinking. I know many of you have asked me what I believe in. Do I believe in the pre-trib, the mid-trib, the, po the post-trib? And I have not given my opinion. I do have an opinion. However, the Lord has not shown me. So I am not uh, sharing because until the Lord shows me, I don't know. I do believe, though, that the tribulation is a little bit different that we, than we think. And I think uh, there is a man's interpretation of what the tribulation is. And therefore, the rapture, uh, the timing of the rapture is going to be a lot different than what we think, just because the tribulation is not exactly uh, what we have thought it's going to be, the timing of it at least. So let me go ahead and continue with this word. I looked this word up in the root word. And that was very interesting. There's two root words. The first one is APO, A-P-O, and that means a separation of a part from a whole and a state of separation that is of distance. Well, we know we get raptured. There's going to be a big distance between the earth and where we're raptured. Then the second root word was ARO, A-I-R-O. And that meant to raise up, to elevate, to lift up, to raise from the ground, to raise upwards, to lift up. And then the one that really stuck out to me was to draw up a fish, to draw up a fish. Well, we know in the early church that this, a symbol that was used for Christians was a fish. And so how, how appropriate is it that it says to draw up a fish? So that's talking about Christians. So the Lord was definitely pointing to a rapture coming. And it's so exciting for me because most of the things I get from the Lord are a little doom and gloom and they're about judgments and about the church and what we're going to be facing and their warnings of severe judgment. So when I get something like this, it really excites me and uplifts me. And so that's why I wanted to share it with you. This morning while praying, I then received a message. I have not typed this message out yet. Um, but I'm going to, and I will be putting it down. It'll be in my blog article, the link down below, if you want to read it. Bear with me, because I am going to have to read my scribble. When I pray, and then I hear something from the Lord, I usually almost have my eyes shut while I'm writing. So sometimes it's hard for me to read my own handwriting. So I'm going to do my best. And here it is. There is no harm that will come to you under the shadow of my wings. I will put you under my arms. I am your covering, your protection, your shield, your tower. And then, brothers and sisters, I had a vision. Right when he said that, and I saw Jesus, and he was bending down, and he was, um, oh, how can I explain... It was like there were butterflies around his feet. And he was lifting the butterflies up high into the air. Um, kind of like if you're going to throw up confetti. And they're all over the place. But instead, he was he was bending down and picking up the butterflies and then throwing them into the air. And he did that like three times. And the butterflies, and I've seen these butterflies before, they were the butterflies that had this blue, metallic blue effervescent look to them, just most beautiful smaller butterflies. So I saw him doing that, and this is what I heard then heard. This is how the rapture is when all my butterflies rise up to meet me in the air. They are precious in my sight. 
The time is coming that they will fly. I await that day with anticipation. Before then, continue on the narrow path that I have laid out for you. Be faithful, repent of your sins daily, and come into my presence. You are so close now. Be my overcomers. It is how you finish the race that counts. Salvation will come in a flash. Be ready for it. Yours truly, Jesus. What a beautiful, beautiful message of him coming for his bride. And he called us his butterflies. I thought that was really awesome. And then, after I prayed, the Lord led me to some scriptures that are not your normal scriptures for the rapture. But these are what he led me to. And these are prayers. And I want to read them because they're so awesome. 1 Thessalonians 5.23 May God himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May your whole spirit, soul, and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Luke 21.36 be always on the watch and pray that you may be able to escape all that is about to happen and that you may be able to stand before the Son of Man. Revelation 3.10 Since you have kept my command to endure patiently, I will also keep you from the hour of trial that is going to come on the whole world to test the inhabitants of the earth. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Hello and welcome, this is Julie, and I wanted to share another message with you. This one is entitled, The Storm Is Here. Those words say everything. We know where we are now. We know that our Father Yahushua is extremely close to His return. All of the signs are around us. He's been incredibly faithful in 
giving us his messages, sharing his heart with us, counseling us, directing us. But the time has come for anyone who has not chosen to do so. We don't have any more time to play, to be in the world, to think that we can dabble in the things of darkness, but call ourselves Christians, call ourselves followers of Yahushua, call ourselves disciples. It's, it's time to know where you stand. He's been saying this for a long time now, but we really are here. So don't be fooled because nothing huge has happened yet as far as events or judgments. That is not what we are supposed to be focusing on anyway. He's told us that as well, that the judgments are not to be the focus. That's why he doesn't go into great description, especially with me, about what's coming next and what is the timing of that. Um, I have asked him occasionally to let me have understanding of maybe what would come next, but he knows that it would become a focus and it would become a distraction. That would be something that I would think about all the time. And so more of what he does with me is, is share his heart, really his wisdom, helping us to understand where he's coming from so that we can have his perspective and not our own and not be looking to the world for answers because the world does not hold any answers for us. So before I start this message, as always, I humbly come before you, Father. I ask for your grace. I ask for your forgiveness for my sins, my missteps. I ask you to forgive me for falling short of all you have called me to do. I thank you for everything that you have given me and blessed me with. And I thank you, Father, for the trials and the challenges that come my way because this is what you use to further refine me and mold me into your image. So Father, I ask that your spirit would go forth powerfully across the world to all those who are listening, to all those who read the messages that I post that you give me, and that you would move across this earth in a way that hearts would be broken for you Finally, once and for all, all of those who are standing on the fence, all of those who haven't fully committed, Father, do a mighty, mighty work in their hearts, in their lives, this moment as they hear this message, that they would be transformed and they would make that choice to be all in, Father. I ask for your blood covering and I ask that you would anoint my lips to speak forth your words and your heart this day. I pray all of this in your holy and powerful name, Yahushua. Amen. I told you the storm would come, and now the storm is here. I am the storm. In this storm are the winds of judgment. The lines of demarcation have been drawn. The good seed I have planted have produced good fruit, but the thorns and thistles the enemy has sown seek to choke the life from my vineyard. This will not be so. I will not allow it. Great sorrows are upon you, as it is the time of the great purging. I will not watch and stand idle as man continues to exalt his idols, even himself, above me. All that is lofty will be brought low, and all mine who walk humbly will be exalted. A great and mighty shift is here. Terror, dread, and lamentation will be the experience of all whose hearts are cold and indifferent to the warnings of repentance I have given. But strength, peace, and my power and authority are with those who I know by name and who know their shepherd. I am measuring hearts through all I do and all I allow. There will be no more gray area and no more uncertainty in those who have been walking the line, as I am forcing your hand now in the judgments. Choose life or choose death, but remember, the choice is yours, and it will be made now. 
my remnant take shelter in me alone. Do not seek your answers and my counsel for you personally through others. I will guide you personally and intimately if it is my voice you follow. Many who say they follow the shepherd are leading the sheep astray by mixing false doctrines of men as well as elements of self in the words they profess are of me. Beware of these, as the enemy Python, Jezebel, and the religious spirits are hard at work to deceive many. Only I know your heart and know what is in your best interest. Sudden destruction comes, but my bride will not be caught unaware. Come to my feet now, my loves. Bow your heads and find safety under my wings. Wait upon me as I prepare to infuse you with my anointing as the darkness descends. You will greatly glor glorify me in what I have called you each to do before I take you home. Love and be loved. I am coming, my precious ones. I am coming. Yehoshua And so, his words are for all those who have ears to hear. I pray that you would pray for discernment, that these words are his truths. He is always faithful, he cannot lie, and he is merciful beyond merciful to continue to come to us and implore us to repent and change our ways. Please take these messages seriously. Please share them with all those you can possibly think of that would be willing to listen. We don't have anything to lose. Don't be ashamed of the gospel of Yahushua. We will be accountable for what we know. We will be accountable for these words. If you read them or hear them, you then have them, and then it is your responsibility to share them. The blood is not on my hands once I have given them to you. That is my position. I don't keep anything to myself that he tells me to share. The obedience to Yahushua will cost you as it has cost me and my family. But our rewards are not here, my friends. We're not looking for anything as a reward in this life. We are securing our eternal future with Him. Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening. Thank you for your love and your support and your prayers. My prayers go out to each and every one of you. And I send you my blessings and Father Shalom.